hey what's up guys welcome back thank you so much for tuning in i really appreciate you guys taking your time and watching my videos so i want to start by welcoming those who recently subscribed to my channel thank you so much guys make sure that your notifications are on so that you get notified whenever i upload the video so in today's video i'm going to be looking at the mirror screen dongle again so this is not a setup or anything but uh most of you have been dropping comments asking me if the device works on the pc does it work on the android and i believe that because the time i did the setup and unboxing I only managed to test it up on the iOS so I still have the package here so I went and look at it again they said it works on Android it works on iOS it works on the Mac it works on Windows Phone it also works on Windows PC so which means across all those five platforms this device will be able to work so for those who don't know how the device look like it's this is the mirror screen it looks like a, like a Google is it what a Chromecast or a little bit like uh, Amazon Fire Stick and then it works with this cable which has a micro USB and a normal USB on the side so honestly speaking guys I tried to test that because your comments have been trending since November up until I think this past week so I went and checked I've been testing it on my Android device so the Android device that I have it's the Sony Xperia E5 and honestly speaking this phone it's pretty much a disappointment so well, if you want to use this phone just use it for calls and a little bit of social media but for things like this which i believe they're a little bit complicated there's just too much for it so i went to an extent to actually find another third-party application that i can use to run on this device that i can show you guys how it works but nonetheless it was still not working so today i have an galaxy alpha which is uh, i know it's an old phone but it works so i'm gonna show you guys how it works on the android and then i believe all your, qu your questions are answered so back again on the device so the device like i said you your tv doesn't have to be smart your monitor doesn't have to be smart however it has to support hdmi i repeat it has to support hdmi and you have to have a usb power source to actually power this device because this micro usb will go in to the device and then it will require power from the usb source which if your tv has hdmi and the usb ports you can draw power from those usb ports and then if you don't have you can use uh, a 5 volt with one uh, milliamp so or else you can use a power bank i think it's not really much on on power so you can you are able to power it up so without any waste of time let me show you guys how it works on android and how it works connected to my tv so my tv is a smart tv but this part is not actually proving if whether it's going to work on a smart tv or not because definitely it will work but this is about interface as long as this thing is connected onto your hdmi port and it's power you'll be able to do that so even on your monitor which is not a smart monitor it doesn't have to be 4k or anything as long as it is hdmi and you have your usb power source you'll be, you'll be able to do this so let's take this to the tv and then we'll be connecting our our Android device to it. So without any further ado, let's jump into that. So now I've connected the mirror screen to the TV. So that's how it is it displays. So as you can see from the left hand side, there it shows the Easy Mirror Plus AirPlay. That's where you can use the Easy Mirror on your Android device to actually connect to the mirror screen uh, device as well as using AirPlay from your uh, iOS device. So that can be from iPad or iPhone. And then on the in the middle, it's a mirror cast. So this one, if you can check on applic on the devices like Sony Xperia as well as your Windows computers, you can have the casting feature that comes in together with the OS, which you just go and display from the external uh, display monitor. And then on the left hand side, that's the QR code that you need to scan in order to get access to that device. But however, on my Sony Xperia, it's not working. So let's go ahead and switch on to our Android device and then let's see how it works so I'm gonna go ahead and unlock my phone and then let's see so what you need to do on your Android device you just have to go to uh, notification uh, pull it down and then click on quick connect and then you're gonna search all the available devices that your phone can connect to and then you will get the SSID it's what you should get on your mobile device or on your computer or on your Mac so the SSID name it's mirror screen DF770E so I'm just gonna select on it and then click and then it's 
says start screen mirroring and then it's gonna show that it's connecting okay and then it's connected so it's actually responsive and then like I said when I was doing the setup on the iPhone so it always gonna it's always gonna be on a portrait mode however if you want to switch it it will depend on the application so let's jump into YouTube and then let's see what we can play on YouTube uh, da, 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 da. Okay. Okay, pass. Uh, let's go to my history and then I watched this video and then let's see So when you you have to do it on a landscape mode so that it can fill up the screen, and then then the, how you're gonna get the, the full screen as it is. So that's how it is on my phone as well as on the TV. So so that's how it is. So this is exactly what's playing on my phone, and that's that's what you get. So it's pretty much an awesome experience on the phone. So yeah. So like I said, it depends on the applications. So some applications, you can only use them while they're on the portrait. I don't know what you guys think, but it actually works on Android and it also works on the PC. So I believe, I don't know if you guys want me to still continue to go to a Windows phone as well as a PC. And I'm ready and I'm willing to do that for you guys. Otherwise, thank you so much for tuning in guys. And just one thing that I'm a bit concerned about. I know this phone that I'm using is quite like a an old phone i think it's like about almost four years old now so i'm thinking if i should get like a recent for maybe galaxy s8 or the the s9 let's see if it will work or maybe you can also get uh,